Attention, Toontown pedestrians. Are you tired of walking? Are your poor dogs starting to hurt? Then step aboard Toontown's very own Jolly Trolley. That's right, folks. Let the Jolly Trolley bounce you up and down and all around Mickey's Toontown. Six out of five passengers prefer the Jolly Trolley, and it's no wonder. No other trolley considers your complete comfort as completely or comfortably as the Jolly Trolley. So, Toontowners, if you want to get more for your travel simoleon, hop aboard and ride high, wide, and handsome on the Jolly Trolley. Toot, toot, ding, ding. Ride the Toontown Trolley. Ding, ding. It starts from here and goes to there. Bouncing round the Toontown Square. Ride the Toontown Trolley. Toontown's Jolly Trolley. It's clean. It's fun. It bounces a lot. W-A. Well, it's another happy day here in Mickey's Toontown. But then again, <laughs> it's always a happy day here in Mickey's Toontown. We interrupt this program to bring you this special news report. Those bad guy hoodlum weasels are at it again, causing dastardly destruction with their fatal mixture of dip, that terrible green liquid of destruction. I repeat, the weasels are on the loose, on the streets of Toontown with Toon Toxic Dip. So beware, all citizens of Mickey's Toontown are at great risk to life, limb, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And have a nice day. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. The preceding special report, which rudely interrupted our regularly scheduled program, was brought to you by the Big Bad Wolf Demolition Company. Yes, friends, the Big Bad Wolf will huff and puff to get the job done. <coughs> and now, a word from our sponsor. Gorge. Thank you for that word. Now, don't touch that dial. I told you not to touch that dial. It's very ticklish. Say, all you tunes out there in Radio Land, who puts that smile on your radio dial? W-A-C-K-Y, Wacky Radio, Toontown. Say, we've just received another message from Mickey Mouse. He's inviting everyone over to his house today to meet him in his backyard movie barn. Seems he's decided to take a break on the set of his latest home movie. And he'd like to meet everyone who stops by. So get on over there, everybody, and say hello to Mickey. And now, here's the guy who covers the wacky world of sports from up and down and all around Mickey's Toontown. Here's Orville Cleat Kicker with the Toontown Sports Report. <laughs> Hiya, sports fans. Orville Cleat Kicker here with the Toontown Sports Report. Goofy performed an amazing backwards triple whammy double decker high dive today and landed perfectly right next to his pool. But he's getting closer, folks. The big bad wolf huffed and puffed and blew his way into the Toontown Sports Hall of Fame today when he broke his own record by blowing a stick house more than 200 yards. Oh, excuse me, I should have said he blew the stick house across more than 200 yards. Hope one of those yards wasn't yours, folks. And here are the latest Toontown scores. 4 to 5, 6 to 27, and 112 to 20. And that's the Mickey's Toontown Sports Wrap-Up. The Toontown Sports Report was brought to you by the Toontown Insurance Company. They cover any permanent injuries caused by hot foots, explosions, falling off cliffs, TNT disguised as cigars, getting run over by steamrollers, and smashing into brick walls disguised as tunnels. And, uh, and I almost forgot, they also cover falling anvils, safes, and... Pianos. <laughs> A word from our sponsor. The 
Gag Factory is really yucking it up this week, folks, with a new shipment of jokes and gags, and believe you me, it's a toon paradise over here. Hey, I can't read the rest of this ad. Someone wrote it with disappearing ink. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. The Gag Factory is offering a case of either El Explodos or Dutch Blasters exploding cigars for only 10 smackaroos. That's 15 simoleons to me and you. So get them while they're blaster, uh, last at the Gag Factory. We're just exploding with excitement. That's the Gag Factory. Ooh. Hiya, sports fans. Orville Cleek Kicker here with more sports from up and down and all around Mickey's Toontown. In today's Toontown baseball game, Mighty Casey struck out again. Yes, folks, again. And Donald Duck lost his temper and went home. Home plate, that is. And he scored the winning run. Donald hit that ball so hard he gave it two black eyes. The ball was later quoted saying, Yeah, I got eye trouble, all right. I just can't see playing another game with that duck. The game was hot, folks, but after the game, the temperature at the Toontown Stadium really heated up. Why did it get so hot at the stadium after the game? Because all the fans left. Get it? The fans left. <laughs> and that's the sports wrap-up. The Toontown Sports Report was sponsored by Daisy's Diner. And now here's Daisy to tell you all about this week's special. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. I'm Daisy, here to tell you that this week is Duck Week at Daisy's Diner. So if you're a duck, you're in luck. Come in any day this week, eat all you want, and I'll personally take 50% of that food right off your bill. <laughs> so don't delay. Come in today to Daisy's Diner. Just a few webbed feet from the Jolly Trolley Station. You're listening to W-A-C-K-Y, Wacky Radio Toontown. W-A-C-K-Y, Radio Toontown. We interrupt this program to bring you this special report. Those rotten, and I mean rotten, weasels are reportedly pouring barrels of dip, I repeat, barrels of dip on the streets of Mickey's Toontown. And I don't have to tell you Toontowners that green dip is bad news. Again, the weasels are on the loose and armed with dip. Citizens of Mickey's Toontown, beware of the weasels. They're just not nice. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. This is W-A-C-K-Y. Radio Toontown! Say, friends, my pal and yours, Mickey Mouse, just called to tell us to remind everyone in our listening audience to drop by his house today. He's taking a break on the set of his backyard movie barn, and he'd just love to meet you. Mickey says, my door is always open, so you can go right on in and make yourself at home. Be sure and come on over and say hello to Mickey Mouse today. This portion of the program is brought to you by Pluto's Dog House. If it's a great dog you want, go to Pluto's. If it's a great hot dog you want, you can still go to Pluto's. That's Pluto's Dog House in the heart of Toontown. Don't forget, folks, Pluto offers the best variety of hot dogs in Toontown. And all under one woof. <laughs> Friends, are you feeling tired, out of shape? Are you finding that your get-up-and-go has got up and went? Hmm? Well, pick yourself up and carry yourself down to Horace Horse Collar's Gym, located in downtown Toontown. At Horace Horse Collar's Gym, the friendly and courteous staff will be more than happy to help you out, depending upon which way you came in. And if you come down and join today, Horace will take 50% off your big fat, uh, off your uh, first payment. <laughs> so, come on over to Horace Horse Collar's Gym and work out with some real dumbbells. And now, back to our program.
And now for the Toontown News. Just in, Flash. Those crooked weasels were seen hot-footing it out of the fireworks factory and heading towards the Toontown powerhouse only moments ago. Citizens of Mickey's Toontown are warned to keep away from these no-good scoundrels because, at last report, they were transporting a large amount of dip. And that certainly is not good news, Toontowners. In other news, Toontown's third little piggy bank was held up today, but was put right back down. Mortimer Mouse, former sweetie of Minnie Mouse, was arrested today following the robbery of a portrait of Minnie. He was caught by the Toontown police when he tripped and his head smashed right through the portrait. Mortimer says he was framed. And that's the Toontown News. The news was brought to you by the Toontown Cab Company. Hey, you know, traveling around Mickey's Toontown is fun inside a shiny yellow and black Toontown taxi cab. All of our friendly cabs are equipped with everything you need to get around Toontown, such as the latest in scissor lifts, bouncy balloon tires, and smiling bumpers. That's the Toontown Cab Company. Take one out for a spin today. And now, a Toontown public service announcement. The daughters of the animated reel are having their monthly meeting tonight in the Toontown Town Hall. Tonight's guest speaker is Clarabel Cow, who will be discussing cartoon living from a cow's perspective. <laughs> now, doesn't that sound utterly fascinating? Daisy Duck and Minnie Mouse hope all you ladies will arrive tonight with bells on, <laughs> even if you're not a cow. And now, back to our program. W-A-C-K-Y, Wacky Radio, Toontown. Having a last-minute dinner party, but your time is stretched to the limit? Well... Unless your culinary skills are on a par with Flora, Fauna, or Merriweather, you'd best ring up the three nephews from Duckburg Catering Company. Three nephews from Duckburg will help you if you're stuck, Berg, if you don't have the time to fix a meal. They'll do all the cooking without you even looking, so call them for a booking, what a deal! Your guests, they will love ya, they'll put you high above ya, their taste buds will shout out ooh la la, ooh la la! So put on your favorite ducks, leave the cooking to the ducks, three nephews from Duckburg! Yes, friends, it's so simple. And if you're in a hurry, don't worry. The three nephews from Duckburg Catering Company is fast and efficient. All you have to do is ring them up and say, three nephews, deliver an entire banquet and step on it. Try Huey and Dewey and Louie's Ratatouille. Their Swedish meatballs really hit the spot. Yeah. If it's catering you want, make your home a restaurant. Three nephews from Duckburg. You're tuned to Wacky Radio, W-A-C-K-Y, Mickey's Toontown. W-A-C-K-Y. Do you know what time it is? It's time to get your clock repaired at the Toontown Clock Repair Shop. Does your clock tick, but it won't stop talking? All it needs is a good cleaning. What do we use to clean your clock, you ask? Why, a sweep second hand, of course. <laughs> and if you think that's cuckoo, listen to one of our happy customers. Yes, thank you. Knock it off. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, friends, does your clock sleep in later than you do? Is your pocket watch a little wound up these days? Is your grandfather ticked off? What about your grandfather clock? Don't worry, just take your clock by the hand and bring it in today. If you don't, we'll come to your house and clean your clock. That's the Toontown Clock Repair Shop on the corner of Broken Main Spring. 